Hello, kindergartners. I miss you guys. I thought I'd share with you an art project that you could do at home. And I picked this project because it's fun and because it's really nice to decorate our space when we're stuck in one place. And because all you need is scissors, a glue stick, and a couple different colors of paper. Two, maybe three, up to you. It doesn't have to even be colored paper. It could be white as one of the colors, or if you don't have any colored paper, you can use markers or pencils or paints to color that paper first. But before I show you the project, we're gonna do a read aloud. This book is called Henri's Scissors, and it's about a famous artist named Henri Matisse that came up with the style that we're going to be using. Henri is from France. France is a country in Europe that you guys all learned about in your classes this year. In a small weaving town in France, a young boy named Henri Emile Benoit Matisse watched his mother paint China. He wanted to paint too. He has a very long name. The way people usually talk about him today when they talk about his famous art is they just call him Matisse. He drew pictures in the sand, and he drew pictures in his school books. <laughs> when Henri was a young man, he drew pictures in his law books and on contracts, deeds, and wills. Henri was sick in bed with appendicitis one winter. His mother gave him a box of paints, and he painted until he was well. He kept on painting, forgot about law, and left his small town to be an artist in Paris. Henri painted pictures day after day and year after year. He was happy, and his paintings made people happy. But when Matisse was an old man, he fell ill. So ill, he couldn't paint. So ill he couldn't sit up. So ill he could only lie in bed and sleep. His paintings floated by in his dreams. And these pictures that are in the book are actually real artworks. They're drawings of real artworks that Matisse has made in famous museums around the world. I saw some of his work, some of my favorite Matisse work at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. Matisse finally opened his eyes and they were filled with sadness. Now he must remain in bed or use a wheelchair. Would he ever have the energy to paint again? When Matisse was strong enough to travel, he went to the seaside. The sea air might help him get well. And before long, he sat up. A little later, he drew. Then one day, Matisse picked up a pair of scissors and cut out shapes from painted paper. He was drawing with scissors. He said, a pair of scissors is a wonderful instrument. Look at all the cool different shapes he made. There's going to be a lot more shapes too. Pay attention to these pictures. I'll spend a little extra time showing them to you. It might give you some inspiration for your own. Matisse cut paper all day. He said, my pleasure in cutting things out grows even greater. Why didn't I think of it earlier? His assistants painted paper for him all day. So this is why I said, if you only have white paper at home, you can color it yourself. Because that's the way Matisse actually did it in real life. But it's a little easier and a little neater to start with construction paper or colored paper. So really you have options. It seems to me, he said, that I am in a second life. 
paper cutouts covered his walls. Look at these and see if you have a favorite. I really like this one because of the contrast in colors. They're very different, so they have high contrast. I also like that type of organic shape. Organic, because it looks kind of like a plant instead of like a shape with really straight lines. One evening, Matisse lay in bed and drew the faces of his grandchildren on the ceiling with a piece of chalk tied to a long pole. As he fell asleep, they looked down on him and saw his dreams. They saw the shapes that surrounded him in sleep. What are the different shapes that you all see? I see one that looks kind of like a bird. This one looks kind of like a flower, a heart, a circle, a sort of star shape in the corner, part of it's cut off. But what do you see? Use your imagination. As time went on, Matisse cut bigger and bigger shapes. They filled his seaside room with color. You see, as I am often obliged to remain in bed, I have made a little garden all around me where I can walk. There are leaves, fruits, a bird. When you're staying at home right now, is there anything that you miss seeing? You could make art of what you miss, kind of like Matisse did. I am deeply contented, happy, he said. Look at how big these are compared to him. You can use different sizes of paper at home. Some of your cutouts can be really small and some can be bigger. Try different things. Then one night, Matisse walked out onto his paper garden and the rainbow of shapes cradled the old artist and carried him into the heavens. He was alive a really long time ago. He's not alive anymore. Are some of the stars we see at night coming to us from Henri's scissors? Perhaps. I really love Matisse's stars. They're not like the normal five-pointed stars that we're used to seeing. They're a little bit different with each ray of light, and I love that. It's pretty fun to make. I made an example for you all. And I'm also going to show you the different steps that it took me to get here. But this is the type of thing it can look like when you're done. It's really nice to make sure that you have one big piece of paper for the background. This is the paper that you'll be gluing your shapes to. Then with other paper, preferably in a different color, you can cut out whatever different shapes you want. And Matisse called it drawing with scissors. It really is. You don't have to draw anything first. As you cut, the shape is created. That's what makes it especially fun. So I really liked his plant-like shapes and his stars. So I made two plants and one star. But you decide which one you like the best and do that, or make up something completely new. Art is for being creative. And everybody's unique and might have a different idea than anyone else in the world. And that is really cool. So make whatever you feel like making. I have a couple tips about how to use the scissors for this. When you pick which color you want to cut the shapes out of, start on one of the sides, and as you're cutting, make sure that you're not cutting right at your hand. Go slow and be very careful. Scissors are sharp, like you all know. So don't go too fast. Then another tip is, after you cut a piece, like that, then move up to the end of the cut part before you start again, and that will help it be really, really smooth. So cut, move up, cut, move up, cut, and then the edges are really nice and smooth. If you don't do that, if you just cut and cut and cut without moving, it is really hard to have a smooth edge. 
It might take some practice to get a smooth edge, but that's fine. Try it a few times. Art takes practice. So if I want to cut out a plant-like shape, I'll give you a quick demonstration of how I did that. Turn the paper when you get to the leaves. That can help you get a nice rounded shape. It's a little bit easier than just moving your scissors. You can use the hand that's holding the paper to turn while you cut like this. When it comes to choosing what color you're using, you can make it kind of realistic, like using green for your plant, or you can be really creative and make it unnatural and use whatever color you want. I used blue for my star on this other one. There's not really such thing as a blue star. Usually they're the color of light, but when you're doing art, you can make it whatever you want. So here's my plant that I just cut out for you guys, and you'll notice that the edges are smooth because I was moving my scissors and moving the page with my hand that held the paper. And it took me some practice to do this, so it might take you some practice too. If you're doing a star or another shape that has straighter edges that's more geometric, then you'll want to do a cut and then turn, cut again, turn, cut again. Instead of making round cuts, you're just making a straight cut and then changing your scissors direction. And like I said, one of the cool things about Matisse's stars is that they don't just have five points and they're not all exactly the same on each side. So have some fun with this. That's a star. It's green and it's a little irregular, but this is the type of star that Matisse would make. All right, now you guys can get to it. I think you know what to do. At the end, just make sure that you glue it onto your paper or use those magnets. And then usually an artist's name goes in the bottom right hand corner. Have fun creating. Bye guys.